How on earth can the younger generation be inspired to learn the organ? Martin writes, Exposure. Make YouTube videos. Make those TikTok video clips and don't just play hymns and classical music. Play all sorts of things and do stuff no one else does. The younger generation will find and figure it out. Someone wrote here as a follow-up to Martin's comment from Helen. She says, exactly, Anna Lapwood is doing that on TikTok. She's got a following of young people. And yes, Anna Lapwood is a great ambassador for the organ. She's the organist at the Royal Albert Hall. I think that's what it's called. And her TikTok following is just phenomenal. But I think in order to move that to another level, just to convert that audience into people that want to learn the organ. So she's doing a lot of short clips, which is you know, the whole point of TikTok, they're very engaging. With that great following, I think she could do more to convert those people to learn the organ. Stephen writes, I believe part of the problem is the fact that there are so few church services for budding organists to learn their craft. Another major issue is Obitus and Wesley, not to mention praise bands. And Stephen is right, there are fewer church services now, but even if there are more church services, that wouldn't help the dwindling attendees. We need people to come to churches, and we need parents to bring their kids to hear the organ. So there's quite a big chain there, and a significant number of events to line up to make everything kind of fit together. The next comment here is from my favorite Fort Lauderdale composer from Florida, Phil Lanebauer. He writes, it is a challenge, certainly. It would be great if school music teachers could create some interest, especially if there's no interest at home. For me, growing up with a father who was a minister and a mother who was a pianist and organist, playing organ was a natural progression. But even in my small country high school, growing up, there were many talented pianists amongst my friends. I don't even know one student now at my church school who plays. Will the trend ever reverse? That's pretty deep, Phil, and you were one of the lucky ones. But we can only do what we can do. We are only one person. But together, we might be able to make a difference. I'm now heading over to my YouTube community tab. The first one's from Jeff. Jeff says, there's nothing better than entering a cathedral and hearing an organ thundering with glorious, uplifting music. It also amazes me when I see someone playing with their hands and feet. People who can play like that are so talented. It is a shame more people aren't taking it up. Well, thank you, Jeff. I can play with my hands and feet, so I am very, very honoured and thankful that you say I'm talented. And it is a shame. It is a shame. And that more people aren't taking it up. But as um, we've covered a lot of that in the previous comments, so thank you for leaving that one. Lewis writes, cost slash access to an instrument is a big issue. However, virtual organs set up running helped work in Grand Org is helping to lower the cost of a home or school setup. And that's very true, but there's also a very big learning curve in setting up and building your own virtual organ. That's why I went straight for the, the pre-built the pre -built stuff. You know, I wanted to spend more time playing than playing, playing, setting it up. But in saying that, people that do take up the organ, and the young people that I know who play the organ, especially the ones who have YouTube channels, they are quite technically minded, and they're very interested in how everything works and gets put together. And also, just to add further to that, People that do take up the organ are quite are quite detailed people. And you kind of have to be a little bit eccentric in a way. I think we're all kind of on the spectrum in some way. But for someone to really love the organ, there's got to be that little element of eccentricity. Is that even a word? 
because there's so much detail with the organ, so much detail to learn about registrations and stops. If you're that type of person who likes details and likes digging further into rabbit holes, then I think the organ is for you. Now, the last comment here is from Vulcan Starlight Music, and he has a YouTube channel of his own. From following him on my Instagram, he is creating a really comprehensive composite Helpedwork sample set. And his response is quite long. It's very, very genuine and very technical. And I really appreciate the comment he, he wrote. But in a nutshell, he's really open to helping and helping the younger generation, especially on the technical side and the programming side, the programming side of making Helpedwork sample sets. Getting young programmers hooked on creating and sampling their own sets through means of scripting and SQL code, SQL code. And because I have a basically a computer science background, that greatly interests, interests me as well. He also writes, I'd seriously be happy to help or provide input of any kind for this ambition. DM me on any of the platforms if you'd like to. I'm quite inspired to see organists be fabricated. Let me know if you have any ideas. And don't worry, I will contact you privately about this matter because I am trying to get my sampling of the St. Matthew's organ going along again. And I have a, another person that's helping me on this, but he's going to be quite busy. I'm hoping that perhaps you'll be able to help me with that formidable project of sampling my local organ and putting it all together. How on earth can the younger generation be inspired to learn the organ? Well, that was meant to be a rhetorical question, but I was really, really moved by the amount of people that left a comment with some ideas. So there is a hope and a future out there for the younger generation.